Hey gang, Nick Howell with NetApp here, tech marketing engineer for the VMware space. Wanted to talk to you about VAAI, specifically VAAI for NFS. Wanted to also let you know up front that we do support uh, block protocols, VAAI offload, storage offload, uh, whatever vocabulary you want to use for all our storage systems as well as all of the vSphere versions. But the reason I want to talk to you about NFS is that uh, we're going to discuss uh, what you need to do to get it working on yours. So the first thing we need to do is go over to the now site, the support site. We're going to log in real quick. Oh, credentials already saved. We're going to go to downloads, same place we downloaded the VSC initially, and software. And it's kind of hidden in here. We're going to, um, where is it? NFS plugin right there. It's listed under NetApp NFS plugin for VMware VAAI. In the Dropbox, choose ESXi right here and click Go. There's only one version of it out so far, our 1.0 iteration. This is the page where you're going to get a lot of documentation on it. Uh, there's a trick document here that you should really pay attention to called Installing the NetApp NFS Plugin. We're gonna, I'm going to blow through this for the purpose of the, making the video quick, but if you need some reference material, that's a great document. It tells you all the different ways that you need to, you can install it and all those sorts of things. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click continue. Read the long EULA and accept. We're going to go straight for the VIB. This gives you the option to do a zip package if you like. It's not that much bigger. It's all in KB and we're not exactly on dial-up modems anymore. So you download that. Now here is where the step gets fun. Once you've downloaded it, you have to come back over to your uh, vCenter server and drop that file in a very specific path. Now don't worry about trying to write all this down. I'll click up here so you can write it down if you want to. This is very well documented in that link that I was describing to you earlier on the download site. Uh, but here I'll hold that there for a second just so you can pause the video if you need to and, and grab the, the link to it. Now the file name must be, when you download the file, it's going to have a dot .version number at the end right before the dot .vib extension. You need to take that out because this is what the VSC, this is the name the VSC looks for, uh, for what we're getting ready to show you in just a second. So if you can look behind my screen over here in this section where it says NFS plugin for VM, VMware VAAI version 1.0-18, uh, this is being detected based on the location that this file is dropped into. So if it couldn't, if this file did not exist, it would say not found. As soon as you get it named correctly and you have it downloaded in the right place, it's going to automatically detect that it's there and it's going to open up some pretty pretty cool stuff. So we're going to throw that guy to the back for a second. We'll assume that you've already got the file in the right place and it's named correctly. You're seeing your 1.0-18 version showing up correctly. Uh, we're going to click on Install on Hosts. Check both of our boxes and click Install. Are we sure? Absolutely. This doesn't take very long. Uh, granted, I'm in a very slow lab environment, and it's it's going to be done in a matter of seconds, uh, if it even takes that long. What this is doing is it's installing the VIB to each of the hosts, updating some particular settings, and it's also going out and modifying the particular settings that need to be changed on the storage controllers as well that these hosts are attached to. So uh, there's a very long process of steps that you have to do to get a lot of this stuff done, but we are orchestrating it all for you right here from one button and a couple of mouse clicks. Huge value in that. Now, the one thing that I need you to know is that you do need to reboot your hosts for this to take effect. This is a rule for any VIB uh, that you're pushing on. You need to reboot them. So I'm going to drop these guys a quick reboot real quick. And yeah, we'll be safe. We'll do the right thing and put them in maintenance mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There and no VMs are powered on, so we can go ahead and do it. We'll reboot them here. Install NFS VAI plugin. Got to do it twice because we're doing more than one host. You can always do as many hosts as you want by shift selecting like that. And they're going to go through a quick reboot process. While we're doing that, I want to talk to you about what you can leverage with this. So we've we've had 
block-based VAAI for some time now, since the 4 or 4.1, I'm not sure which one it was, I believe it was 4 days. And that's it's it's really big deal because it allows us to offload certain storage storage based functionality that was typically done in a one at a time operation back and forth between the ESX host block by block to the storage controller every time a change needed to happen instead of just saying hey NetApp storage controller mm, copy this file from here to there for me and let me know when you're done that's essentially what VAI is so we've we've had that for block we haven't had it for NFS uh, vSphere 5 introduced the ability for this to, to be available for NFS as well. So we're really, really taking advantage of it. Um, we're excited about it, finally. A lot of the things that are coming up in vSphere, uh, some of the things that were just announced in vSphere 5.1, we're getting native snapshot offload uh, in uh, VM vSphere. So things like taking a VMware snapshot can now be offloaded. Things like uh, link clones or vCloud Director fast provisioning can also be offloaded to uh, storage-based snapshots. So you don't have to wait for that VMware snapshot and then the remove snapshot process, the quiescing. Uh, there's some, some newer workflows that are coming out that are much, much better um, that we'll be able to take advantage of for both Block and NFS now that we have this plugin. Uh, systems are coming back up here. And the only reason we're waiting on this to come back up is because I want to show you that I haven't done anything else. All I'm doing is rebooting the hosts. Come on, lab. There they are. All right, so let's go back to the cluster, let's grab our hosts, drop them out of maintenance mode. And I did not speed that up, guys. That's it's however long your ESX hosts take. If you have big, beefy ESX hosts, they're not going to take very long at all. The reason I wanted to wait is I wanted to show you. Come over here to storage. Supported. So just like that, with a click of a few mouse clicks and a host reboot, uh, you have the NetApp NFS VAI for NFS plugin installed on your system and can take advantage of it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about how you can take advantage of, v of VAI for NFS uh, or VAI in general, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.